So I'm just very, very, very hopeful. I don't know, it's crazy. Like it's, for me, like all I get to do is watch Amelia be pregnant and like do as much with her as I possibly can. And it's, it's incredibly exciting knowing that this is coming. It's also actually totally terrifying because I don't know what to do. What is that? Yeah, I'm picking up car seat, but Amelia don't wanna bring this inside. That just freaked me out. Up until now, the baby has literally just been in her stomach and has been this thing we've been working on for so many years. Now, all of a sudden, the baby's in my back seat. Like now, I've never had a pregnant wife and I've never had a baby before. And then also, like, we're just nervous about, like, what if something happens? You know, it's been so hard for us to get pregnant and to get to this point that, like, we're, we're unfortunately on pins and needles every day. Like, every day that goes by, we're so happy she's still there, but, oh my gosh, what if something happens? And I know that's no way to live, but, when you go through the years of what, you know, Amelia has gone through, it's hard not to think that way. Get that belly. Baby. Why do you yell at her? I'm not. I was trying to talk through the belly button. I thought maybe she would hear me better. That's not how that works. Really? <laughs> so I'm just very, very, very hopeful and very fortunate that we are even this pregnant to begin with. Wait, what? Yes. Yeah. What month? We're on the seventh now. Oh my God, congratulations. Thank you. <gasps> wow, buddy. I mean, listen, my kids are only one year old, really, but my best dad advice, Ryan, is the following. Don't be on your phone ever around your kids. Really try to get down on their level, like height-wise, instead of talking to them and uh, 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 or this or that. Just like go face to face. The third thing would be to dance. I don't think Ryan is a good dancer, but I am. So just try to dance with them and just like play and be a little crazy. That's your job as a dad, to be the fun, crazy dad. And I can't wait until we get to that moment and I like, see her little face, you know? And she just like smiles and looks up at me and says, you're my dad. <laughs> better. Oh, this sounds just like hi, you hear it? But, like hi. You look so happy. I've never seen you look that happy. <laughs> Where is she? Hi, Nina. So, how you doing? There's a big change. You wanna hear it? I mean, yeah, the foreplay here is killing me. You bought a house, come on, like. Bigger than that. Bigger? You bought a mansion? No, bigger in meaning. You getting married? I have a baby. What? Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. I'm a father of a beautiful baby girl. Her name is Lila. Take us to Mount Sinai. I'm having a baby. You know, this vein right here is the vein of like intense, intense excitement. Oh, it's oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this for real? She's so, she's so pretty. I know, baby. Oh my 
god. Your eyebrows are so perfect. That nose is so perfect. The mouth is so perfect. Wow. Congratulations, Nikki. Congrats. Salud. Bless you. Qué linda. Wow. She's cute. I always thought that I knew exactly how to describe how I feel in pretty much every situation. And this is the one time in my life, look at how am I crossing my arms. The first time in my life I'm unable to really explain what I feel. I'm humbled and 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 grateful to be where I am and and to have Lila in my life. Everything before that was so big, it seems so small now. My life has just started, really. Hey guys, <laughs> subscribe if you like the video. Click here to watch more.